Clients and servers. Web servers and clients already? I don't even know how to code yet. So why are we talking already about web servers and clients? This section is going to attempt to gently guide you into front-end and back-end programming, the concepts and an overview of how they work. The first course you're going to do at a university is programming on the client side, and the second one is programming on the server side. You will soon be programming on both sides. The concepts overlap some. In one future assignment that you will do, the quiz, you will get data sent to your front-end from the teacher's backend. If you have no idea what a backend is or what it does, this might just seem to you as magic text that appears when the stars align. Let's instead break down the relationship between frontend and backend, aka client side and server side. Now, this is hard stuff, but make sure you read it. You will be confused and that is okay. All of this will be repeated later. The idea here is that you get a broad overview of the relationship between client and server, aka frontend and backend, so that you have an idea of which side you start on this fall. You don't need to remember it all. See it as having a big map and kind of knowing which direction something is rather than memorizing names of towns. The Web Trio Web development is the process of creating and designing websites and web applications. Three fundamental technologies play a crucial role in this field, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Each of these technologies serves a distinct purpose and collectively contributes to the interactive and visually appealing web experiences we encounter today. HTML, hypertext markup language. HTML is the backbone of web content. It provides the structure and semantics for creating the elements that make up a web page. These elements include headings, paragraphs, links, images, lists, and more. HTML uses tags to define the structure of content, making it easier for browsers to understand how to display the information. HTML is not concerned with styling or interactivity. Its primary role is to organize and arrange content on a web page. CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets. CSS is responsible for the visual presentation and layout of web content. While HTML defines the structure, CSS adds style and design. It enables developers to control aspects like colors, fonts, spacing, and positioning of HTML elements. By using CSS, you can create responsive designs that adapt to various screen sizes and devices. CSS rules are applied through selectors, which target specific HTML elements for styling. JavaScript. JavaScript is a dynamic programming language that adds interactivity and functionality to web pages. Unlike HTML and CSS, which are focused on content and presentation, JavaScript empowers developers to create interactive elements, validate forms, manipulate the DOM, the document object model, handle user events, and communicate with servers using IJAX. It's a versatile language that enables real-time updates and responsive behaviors without requiring page reloads. So let's talk about the key differences in purpose and capability. So HTML defines the structure and content of a web page. It's like the skeleton. CSS controls the visual styling and layout of a web page. It's like the skin. JavaScript enables interactivity and dynamic behavior on a web page. It's like the brain. HTML focuses on content organization using elements and tags. CSS focuses on design and presentation using, using styles and rules. JavaScript focuses on adding functionality and interactivity through scripting. HTML results in the creation of a structured document, quite similar to Markdown. CSS results in visually appealing and consistent styling. 
and JavaScript results in interactive and responsive user experiences. HTML is parsed or read and displayed by browsers as static content. That means it doesn't change. CSS is applied by browsers to style these HTML elements. And JavaScript is executed by browsers to create dynamic behavior. HTML lacks the ability to handle user interactions. CSS lacks the ability to manage complex interactions. Whereas JavaScript handles user interactions, form validations, and much, much more. In summary, these three, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work together to build engaging and functional web experiences. HTML defines the structure, CSS enhances design, and JavaScript provides interactivity. By mastering these technologies, web developers can create websites and applications that are both visually appealing and highly interactive. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.